Hello and God bless you young people. My name is Reverend Jared Reed Smith and I'm a minister here at the Mount Moriah Missionary Baptist Church where my pastor is Dr. Johnny Calvin Smith. Young people, God bless you and thank you for joining me here for your Sunday school lesson. Now, of course, we would love for you to be a part of the Mount Moriah uh, Church, even with our Sunday school that is on Sunday, uh, Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. Now, of course, we go over our lesson a little bit, but we have more time with each other on Sunday mornings. So we'd love to have you there at 10 a.m. And then 11 a.m., we have our church service. I'd like to always remind you to read your Bible, pray every day, and make sure that you're doing those things that are pleasing uh, to God. This Sunday is actually Youth Day at our church. And so we invite all the young people out there, whether you're a member or not, uh, to please come out for Youth Day. Those that come on Youth Day uh, will definitely be blessed with school supplies as you get prepared to go back to school very soon. Yes, I know it's almost time. Uh, let's go ahead and get, start, <laughs> get into our lesson. And before we do, let's pray. Gracious God, we do say thank you. Thank you, God, for everything. Lord, I pray that you please bless our young people. Lord, please keep them safe. In Jesus' name, I do pray. Amen. Young people, our lesson for today comes from the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter 25, verses 31 through 46. Matthew chapter 25, verses 31 through 46. Our lesson topic is, who belongs in God's kingdom? Who belongs in God's kingdom? Our golden text scripture is Matthew 25, verse 46, and it says, and these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into life eternal. And the big idea of today's lesson is Jesus knows who has and who has not trusted him as Savior. And so in our lesson, Jesus is telling his disciples what it would be like when he comes back to earth. Now, young people, let's see if we can all understand what we're talking about. When Jesus was first on earth, when he came as a baby, he was born. Everyone knows the story, right? His mother was Mary. He was born in Bethlehem. Jesus grew up and he did all of those wonderful things that we hear about in the book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. He healed the sick. He raised the dead. He caused the blind to see. You Certain stories that you love about him walking on water, him healing everyone and feeding the 5,000 and all of that stuff. Jesus did that. Ultimately, what was the most important thing that he did? He he died on the cross for our sins. That was when he first came to earth. Now, what we're going to be talking about is when he comes the second time. And so he will come with many of his angels and he will sit on the throne. Everyone who has ever lived will stand in front of Jesus. Then he will do a very big job. When Jesus comes back, and I want you to know that before this time even happens, we will be with Jesus already. Because when when we get what we call raptured, when the, all of God's children leave at that particular time, there will be a big, big situation down on earth. They will go through what they call the tribulation. It will not be fun. It's not something that we joke about. It's something very bad. Times will be very hard. And so Jesus, after seven years, will come all the way down to earth and he will have a very important job to do. Jesus explained what his job will be. He will have to be a shepherd. He will have to be the ultimate shepherd, the, the big, the top shepherd. And he will have to take care of his sheep. What do you mean? That means that Jesus will know who his sheep will be because when he comes all the way down, there's only going to be two types of people. There's going to be sheep and there will be goats. And so we're going to learn about what is the difference between a sheep and a goat. And so we're not talking about animals specifically. We're not talking about animals out in the farm. We're talking about different types of people. Sheep are the good people. Y'all have heard us talk about that. The sheep are the good people, those that love the Lord, those that believe in him, those that have accepted him. Those are the sheep. And But the goats, the goats are the unrighteous. Those are the bad people. The sheep are seen to be on the right side. 
The goats are on the left side. And what Jesus will do when he comes back all the way down to earth is he will judge. And he and Jesus will judge them and he will judge sheep and goats. The sheep will go into life eternal. They will be with the Lord in his kingdom and the goats will go to the lake of fire or to hell and they will be there for the rest of their time as well. So everyone will be judged whether they're going to be a sheep or they're going to be a goat. When Jesus comes again, he won't be separating actual sheep. We'll be talking about groups of people. The group on the right side are the who? They're the sheep. The, the group on the left side are the goats. Just as a shepherd knows his sheep, Jesus knows who belongs to him as well. He can tell by, in our lesson, he can tell by the way that they put their trust in God, by the way that they treated other people. Jesus will put them into this group and they will be with him forever. And he will always be with them. Those that have trusted God and those that have shown how they trusted God by the way that they acted towards other people. People who have not trusted Jesus as Savior do not have God's help. And they do not do the right thing. Jesus can tell those that belong to him by the way that they act towards other people. People who do not belong to Jesus will not get to heaven. Those that have not trusted him and those that are mean and, and hateful and do not trust him will always be far, far away from God. They will not go to heaven. Those people will always deal with sickness and sadness and death and their life will be very sad forever. But those that trust God, those that act like they trust God, meaning that they treat people right and they do the right thing, those people will be with God forever. For Jesus will come and he will take them into his kingdom. Trust in him is the way that we want to live. Trusting in him and doing what God wants, to, wants us to do. That is the way that we are to be. And he promises that he will never leave us and he will not forsake us. And I'm glad to tell you, young people, that right now you can trust in God for your salvation. You can trust in him. All you have to do is believe in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, and you will be saved. And then you can make sure that you will be with him forever and ever. God bless you, young people. I pray that you have a great week.